Let's talk about hole cleaning. Hole cleaning is the process of removing cuttings and other debris from the borehole during drilling. It might seem like a simple task, but it is often not done effectively, which leads to backup, stock by events, or inefficient tripping. In this series, we are going to explain why these parameters are considered to be pillars that support effective hole cleaning in high angle intervals. However, in today's chapter, we are going to focus on flow rate. When talking about flow rate, what we are really referring to is annular velocity, which will vary as the hole size changes downhole. We know the flow rate going in hole, we know the drill pipe size, but we often don't know the hole size when we have a breakout caused by instability. The flow loop test sections shown in these video clips are 3 meters long and include an internal pipe position eccentrically on the low side, which is rotated at speeds up to 150 rpm. The flow loop dimensions represent an equivalent configuration of 5 inch drill pipe in an 8.5 inch hole, with a scale of 1 to 1 1.6. To show the impact of an interval of enlarged hole, the middle section of this setup is represented by the equivalent of 9 and 3 quarters inch hole. Santam gum has been used as viscosifier in the flow loop fluid, which is why it is cloudy, obscuring the view of the internal pipe. Particles with two different densities were used to represent cuttings, the blue particles being higher density than the red particles. The next comparison showed different flow rates in the same test section with a constant internal pipe speed of 50 rpm. At the lowest flow rate of 300 liters per minute, the cuttings accumulate in beds forming an annular restriction. The annular velocity in the in-gauge interval is approximately 100 feet per minute, while in the enlarged interval it drops to 70 feet per minute. It is also worth noting that extended periods of circulation with low or no rotation and an annular velocity of less than 100 feet per minute will increase the risk of barite sag. At the intermediate flow rate of 450 liters per minute through the in-gauge interval, the annular velocity is approximately 150 feet per minute, which corresponds to the Merlin recommended minimum annular velocity for efficient hole clean. At this annular velocity, it can be seen that the cuttings do not settle in the in-gauge interval. They only settle in the enlarged interval, where the annular velocity is approximately 100 feet per minute. On the high flow rate test, circulating at 600 liters per minute, the red color low density cuttings are swept away with no accumulations apparent. Although, it can be seen that the high density blue cuttings still gather at the transition from the gauge to enlarged interval despite this being a smooth change in pipe internal diameter. The annular velocity produced in the in-gauge interval is 200 feet per minute, while in the enlarged interval it drops to 135 feet per minute, which is below the Merlin recommended minimum annular velocity. The minimum annular velocity of 150 feet per minute, or 45 meters per minute, would be difficult to achieve in larger hole sizes which is one of the reasons why drilling 16-inch or larger hole sizes in high-angle intervals is challenging. This graphic illustrates that for a 16-inch section that has been enlarged 25% to 20-inch, the flow rate required to achieve the same annular velocity will increase from 1,200 gallons per minute to an unrealistic 2,000 gallons per minute. Hopefully, this chapter has helped you understand with the minimum annular velocity requirements for hole cleaning in your system. Stay tuned on our sites for the next chapter of the hole cleaning pillar series.